Oh, there's one. All right, if you can see my shack flapping here, it's because there's about a 30 mile an hour wind outside right now. Giant cold front came in and the fishing got tough. Really, really tough. Look at the transducer. All right, there's a nice little eater right there. Awesome. So, what I have done is, I've got the quiver spoon on right now and they seem to be biting the quiver spoon. I'm gonna let him go. But in order to get these fish over here, I've also got this pink shad glow streak tied up. So it's got the glow, the rattle, and the action to bring the fish in. So I'm dropping this down, I don't have it baited, and I'm just ripping it like crazy. And what it's doing is drawing these fish in. And as soon as I see the fish on the graph, I'm following up the uh, glow streak with the gold quiver spoon. And when I have it down there, I'm just, I'm not, ripping it or I'm not doing anything super aggressive with it. I'm just barely moving it because it seems like once these fish come in, they're super lethargic because of this cold front and they're not wanting to eat that big aggressive bait, but they still want to come in and look at that big aggressive bait. So I followed up with the quiver spoon tipped with the minnow, just real subtle, real, real subtle little pops and they seem to be smacking it and it seems to be working today. Um, until I started fishing that glow streak, I wasn't seeing anything on the graph at all. And these curious walleyes, you know, with all the action and the glow and the rattle and everything, that glow streak, they'll come in and look at it, but they're just not quite aggressive enough. A little lethargic today, they just don't want to hit it. So that's, uh, that's a technique that's working today in these absolute brutal conditions. And uh, I tell you what, I'm definitely not moving the shack today, so this is going to be my technique the rest of the day.